Thanks for joining me in the Keep Austin Keto Kitchen. Today I'm going to make um, a, sort of a pumpkin cereal for you today. Um, I know that this is the time of year that everyone starts going crazy thinking about pumpkin everything, pumpkin spice everything, um, especially the uh, coffee shop that sells the uh, pumpkin spice drink. Um, and so because I don't drink those drinks, I have to find other things to accommodate uh, the keto eating lifestyle um, and today I'm going to make for you um, keto cereal. So the first thing we're going to start with here um, is hemp hearts. And I can show you this one. It just says hemp hearts on the bag. So I wanted to show you this really quick. I'm not sure that we can show brands on here or not. So just to get started, um, I can show you what they look like. It says hemp hearts on the bag. Um, and here is what it looks like. If you want to see it, there we go. So I'm going to do three tablespoons of hemp hearts. Um, I usually buy my chia seeds in bulk, and this is what chia seeds look like. I use these jars to um, store them because it's just easier. It's also cheaper to buy them in bulk. So anytime you can buy your ingredients in bulk, take advantage of that. And here's what the chia seeds look like if you've never had chia seeds before. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of that as well. And then I do like a lot of spice, and so just grab yourself some pumpkin spice. I don't know if you can see that or not. It may be upside down. Um, the blend for pumpkin spice, if you want to make it yourself, is cinnamon, ginger, lemon peel, nutmeg, clove, cardamom, star anise, fennel, and black pepper. So those are your flavors for um, pumpkin spice. So I'm going to do a little bit shy of a tablespoon. A little bit shy of a tablespoon there. I like pumpkin spice a lot, so... I'm adding extra for myself. Um, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of vanilla, a pure vanilla extract. And I think that's about all I have left in this bottle. I'm glad I just bought some more this week. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in there. And then for a sweetener, I'm going to use monk fruit. You can use stevia if you want. If you're not a fan um, of monk fruit, you can use stevia. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do about a tablespoon of monk fruit as well. I'm gonna put that in there because this is like a bowl of cereal. Um, it will have crunch just like cereal. So you could take advantage of um, of having a bowl of cereal again. I miss, uh, to a degree I miss cereal and so I like the options that I have um, to make this particular thing. Uh, the next ingredient I'm gonna add is um, pumpkin and I'm gonna add a half a cup of pumpkin into this and just get yourself Make sure it doesn't say pumpkin pie filling, okay? When you get that, make sure it just says uh, pumpkin and not pumpkin pie filling, okay? So there's a half a cup. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And you could do this one of two ways. You can either make this now and store it in the fridge and have it for breakfast if you like more of an oatmeal style cereal versus um, like a more crunchy style cereal with a little bit of texture in it. I prefer the texture most of the time, so I like to have this right after I make it. Um, I'm gonna use the same container to add in uh, my liquid, and I'm gonna add in some coconut almond milk blend, and I'm gonna add in a half a cup to start, and then just give that a good stir. You wanna get everything mixed in together. And if you want more texture, you can pretty much add into this kind of base any kind of flavors that you want. So that, see how that looks like pumpkin? So you just wanna get this all stirred in and blended together. And it looks like a lot of liquid, but if you don't plan on eating this in 20 minutes, because there's chia seeds in here, um, chia seeds absorb liquid pretty quickly. Um, and so in the next Oh, I'd say 20 minutes. You'll see this change if you haven't eaten it in, you know, the first 20 minutes after you make it. You'll see the texture of this change. So if it is something you're going to use for a morning breakfast cereal, um, I'd say go ahead and use that half cup. If you're going to eat it now, uh, you can probably reduce that down just a little bit, a little less than a half cup. I'll put the recipe link uh, down below. I'll put the ingredient list down below. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel and let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see.